Tactical Thursday, time to sharpen your mind. What is going on guys, Daddy WRX1234 or Jared here for another video. So today we're gonna to talk about budget friendly EDCs. So first EDC, everyday carry, budget friendly uh, below $50. We don't wanna to go too expensive and we don't wanna to go too cheap. Um, although I do have an example of a very cheap knife. So this is talking, this video is going to explain to you what you get for what price point, where do you want to be with your everyday carry, what to expect when you spend X amount of money. Um, so kind of just going into that because uh, we did pick up a new knife, as we generally do uh, more, more times than not. Um, but, um, and I've carried all of these for a good enough amount of time that I feel confident and comfortable giving a review and a understanding for the price points. So first we're gonna hop into this bad boy. Um, if you haven't seen my knife collection video, it was brought to you there, but we've got a live free or die there. And then, yeah, I knew it was underneath. The, so the serrated, above, right above the serrated edge, there's a live free or die snake as well. This was an eBay knife. This was about $10, I believe. I every day carried this for two years and just beat the living heck out of it. Um, as you can see on the back, there was this like nice camo print and on the front, it's just all metal. <laughs> it's completely scraped off. Um, absolutely love this thing. The windshield breaker, glass breaker broke off. <laughs> I broke the breaker. Um, Seatbelt cutter. Uh, this was a beautiful multi-tool, a little small. Um, as I grew with it, the blade was just a little tiny, but I outgrew it, you know, for $9, $10 for having it since I was 18. I mean, it's pretty good. Um, and then, so that was like $9 on eBay, which you can find some pretty decent knives on eBay. Like I said, I beat the heck out of it for two years. Um, and then we've got this bad boy, the Kershaw filter. This was around the, what was this? The $20, $20 range, mm -hmm. I wanna say. Um, not bad, not bad. It's got a pretty decent sized blade on it. I thought this was a pretty decent knife um, for an everyday carry. Beat the heck out of it. The only issue I had with it and I don't know how severe of an issue it really is for everybody, but the scales on this were super slippery. I remember the first time trying to pull it out of my pocket, it literally fell out of my hand. Um, but once you get a grip on it, like it's got these nice cut in ridges, so you can get a nice ergonomic feel to it, things like that. You know, you can get a reverse pick, whatever. Um, or an ice pick grip. I don't know the terminology all that well. Um, but I thought this was pretty good. For $20, I would not be... Uh, heartbroken to beat this, beat the heck out of this and have the, this would probably run you three years or more, I would say. Um, so for $20, you can get that. If you want to take another step up and go with a around, this is like $48. Um, I obviously bought it with a discount, so it was a lot cheaper for me. Um, so under 50, this is all under 50. Um, probably with tax, it's pretty close to it though. Um, this is the CRKT. Uh, or commonly known as cricket. <laughs> uh, this is the fossil. So this is their beautiful knife. I absolutely fell in love with this knife. Um, everyday carry wise, it's pretty good. Um, for the knife people, I know you guys like the, uh, the on. let me see if I can do it, the uh, the drop thing. So <laughs> I don't know why it's a, it's a thing, but I do see it a lot when I'm watching knife videos and things like that. Um, overall, really good. This is a knife I'd go one of two ways with. I would go super beat the heck out of it. Um, whether you're a mechanic, construction worker, going in the woods for the camping for a week or whatever, or go the opposite way and display it. Because for $50 or under 50, it's a really beautiful, gorgeous piece. I absolutely love the ergonomics of it. Well, not the ergonomics, but I love the, like the feel, the, aggression, the bold statement that it makes when you bring it out. I showed this to a couple of people, I handed it to a couple of people. They absolutely loved it. They had nothing but good things to say about it. They thought it was a really cool knife. They thought it was beautiful, elegant, you know, it's it's a mix between beast and beauty, but, but it rides that fine line so well because it is very aggressive and it's very bold, but it's got this elegance to it with like the scales where it's got this like texture to it. Um, the fact that it's like machined metal also adds to that elegance and grace. 
I did like that little touch with the CRKT on the pocket clip. I thought that was a really uh, innovative design. Not because it was anything special, uh, or not because it was like game changing, but because of the fact that they realized that when you're carrying it in your pocket, your pocket clip is the only thing exposed. So marketing, get your brand out there. Hey, they've got a CRKT. I can see that. You know what I mean? It was just like a small, minute thing, but I like to pay attention to those minute details because that, to me, justifies the price. Um, not saying that one detail did it, but for me, it was just a lot of things. Like, they have this black backspacer. <laughs> Had to emphasize, uh, enunciate that one. Um, you know, you got the thumb cutout. Hold on, let's see if I could do it again. You know, you can use... It's, I've carried it for, you know, a little over a week, so it's not really too broken in yet. It's pretty brand new. Um, but no, I really did enjoy it. And for like, like I said, below $50, very usable, very everyday carry, but also can be a display. Whereas these ones are more, I'm going to use it. Uh, this one can go either way. Um, and then I'm just going to pull out this bad boy because I think this was around the same price point. Maybe this was like $35, but this is one that I would display. 100% I'm not using this. It's one of those knives that you buy to have in your collection and show it off. Um, it's beautiful, American flag, we the people, you know, all of that. Um, it's also got this really like, I think it's stone wash is what they call it, that tip, the blade. It's got that stone wash feel to it. Absolutely gorgeous knife. So, like I said, all underneath $50, but pretty substantial kick-ass knives. Um... So, but, but I'm not every day carrying that. So that was just a little cameo, you know? <laughs> um, so that was just a quick little, you know, video talking about what price points get you what and what they're used for and intended for, um, things like that. So, uh, if you haven't already leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on bell notifications. So you guys do get notified whenever I post a video, um, and now the second part is just going to be a little explanation thing about Twitch. So if you already know about Twitch, you're already following me on Twitch, feel free to, you know, move on to the next video that I've got posted for you or a previous video. Um, so those of you who don't know what Twitch is, you don't know what I'm promoting at the end of my channel. A quick uh, explanation is Twitch is another app, free to use, free to sign up, everything like that, that just gives you a uh, option to communicate with me one-on-one -on -one when I go live you can sh I stream games some people do like just chatting things like that so there's just a lot of cool different things so for like an hour or two a night same day I upload my videos I go live on Twitch and I like interacting with people on there I mean I've had people from all over the world um, things like that so it's just a cool mechanic for me to be able to play games, relax for an hour or two, step away from my crazy life and interact with people. So if you did want to just click the link that's in the description, sign up, follow me, hop into my streams whenever I go live and just interact one on one instead of leaving a comment down below, feel free to absolutely do that. Um, but as always, guys, we'll see you on the next one.